Sir? Do you mind doing the introduction again? There was an issue on the sound in the beginning. Do you think I need to? For who who would it benefit? You can tell me. I should? Uh, just we have a coach and video. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry. You um, can do it in a minute. So. No problem. Let's see. Am I good on the shot? Yes. Thank you. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Shannon Walbrand. I'd like to thank Bridge Books for hosting me here. Bridge Books has carried my book for a really long time, and it's thrilling. Uh, I like to do radio shows where I answer people's questions, and the questions come from your angels and guides. That's my concept of it. But here today, I'm here to ask you to ask me a question, and I'll give you a quick answer. And I hope your question is personal, precise, proactive and present tense, and then I'll be able to help you. Okay? Thanks, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm ready for the next person. Afternoon. Hi, how are you? Okay, good, thanks. Good, thanks, thanks for coming. Um, Just wait till the door closes, then we'll... Okay, hi, what's your question? You have like five questions. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a hard time deciding which one? I did. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing career is the best topic. Okay, what's your actual question? Actually Go ahead. Not. No. Okay. okay, no, the other one. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Is my current boyfriend the one? And how do I support him? Can, can you ask, should I stay with this person? Try that first. Mm -hmm. Say, should Sh I stay? Should I stay with my current boyfriend? Yes. Okay, so I'm using my Urban Angel cards, which are going to be available soon on Take A Lot. The card that we got is Grow, and it means even in a dry environment, you can still grow. Reach for the sun and water, stretch. Yes, but there's a lot of development that needs to happen in this relationship. So it's not as good as it can be. If you grow as a person, the relationship will get better. But your job is not, and I know you're really tempted to do this, fix him and fix his problems and solve his problems for him. He's presenting you with, oh my gosh, I'm having all of these troubles. And you're like, oh, I'm really smart. I can do this. I can solve all of his problems for him. I'll get him a job. Now I'll find him a house. And then maybe I'll get him a car. Let me loan him some money. You know what? That's going to put you down. Don't you want to rise up mm -hmm. and then have him see you as a role model where he can come up to your level? Okay. But how do I do that? Mm -hmm. How? When you step forward and become your best self and brightest self, he gets inspired and he can take action. Okay. But when you do stuff for him, we're going to ask the men in the audience for, for a raised hand here. <laughs> Could I see the men in the audience? There are a few of you. When women do something for you that you can do yourself, like if I were to tie your shoes for you, how does that make you feel? No specific way. It actually kind of makes me feel like mm -hmm. uh, you need to be miraculous. Interesting. Yeah, you would have to... Because if ever you do something wrong, it's like, and you want to take me out, I can take myself out. I can buy myself a watch, I can do all that stuff myself, so... Empowered, disempowered. Empowered or disempowered? If I do something for you that you could do yourself. Disempowered. Disempowered. Do you feel stronger or weaker if I do something for you that you could easily do yourself? Do you want me to cut up your meat for you? And feed you with a fork? Would you like it or you wouldn't like it? No, you wouldn't because you can do it. You're a man. You can do that yourself. Okay. Don't do anything that would disempower him. Check first. Don't do stuff for him. Okay. But I can continue. There was a yes at the beginning. There was a yes and. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, you can do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we don't have any more people who have.
and if you need to edit it later. <laughs> That's the hard part, isn't now it? You see How do I put it now? Now I'm making yeah, her stumble. Yeah, you really got it to me. Exactly. <laughs> okay, say, say, say it badly. A career say it badly. in psychology. Should I pursue a career in psychology? See, I heard, should I pursue a PhD? But I didn't know in which topic it is. So is it, what, what grade level are you going for at this point? What, what credential would be next for you? Are you getting an uh, honor still? No. St Startup. Bachelor's. No, bachelor's. You, okay. Yeah. So let's do, should I pursue a bachelor's in psychology? Let's start there. Yeah. And then maybe it'll turn into, should I pursue a PhD in psychology? Okay. Okay. It's this card, and the answer is refill. Have you seen these cards before? Nope. Okay. Never these cards them. are pictures of Johannesburg. They were taken by a professional photographer, and they show everyday things that you would see. A petrol station, a red light, a green light, things that you know, things that you can identify. And I draw a card and it gives me a yes or no answer. Sometimes it gives me a how answer. So this is, your tank is empty, it's time to refill. Find the right fuel for yourself. Take a quick rest for the big journey coming. So the big journey is academic and it is yes, you should please pursue your bachelor's and then your honors and then your master's and then your PhD. I mean, this is gonna take years, yeah, but you were born cool. to do this. Okay. It's a perfect fit for you. Thank Everybody you. always comes to you like you're a yeah. magnet for people with problems. <laughs> so as a counselor, as a counselor, you could help each and every one of us in this room and we could cry to you and you'd be like, it's okay, we can do this. We'll get better. Yeah, you can, you can hold space for people. Your guides are saying specifically that they'd like you to work on addiction counseling. So everybody needs a niche okay. and it's addictions. So addictions can mean drug addictions, it can mean alcohol, it can mean eating disorders, it can mean addiction to sex, it can mean addiction to anything. Mm -hmm. um, they would like you to generally, when you're starting off, just be like, yes, I help people with any addiction because every addiction fills that deep hole of longing within us that is, oh, my life is terrible. I guess I'll just, you know, <laughs> yeah. do whatever. So that's what you're helping people. And then okay. later you'll niche down yeah. and you'll figure out which addiction. Okay. You know how you'll figure out by who comes to you? Like all of a sudden you'll have, there'll be all drug addicts. And then the next one you'll have proper guidance mm. into what I need to do. It'll be how life forward. comes to you. Yeah. Uh, do you want to name the school that you're thinking of starting with? Um, it's called uh, South African... SACAP? SACAP, yes. Okay, South African College of Applied Psychology. Yeah. It's a yes. Okay, so yes. Even though it's a little bit expensive, it's the right it program is. to start with. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. So thank she's you. on the right track. What I did was I did some muscle testing, which was, you can do this yourself if you want. It's I got a yes or a no. So I said, SACAP, is it the right school? Yes. And it stopped. Okay, you did it. Right, you. you did it. You made it. Well done. Okay, who's next? Are you next? Yeah, he's restless. He wants to stand up and talk. Come. Thank you for being here. Right, Shannon, hi. Okay. 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 Can you raise your hand if you can't hear him? Okay. Okay, I'm having a problem. Can you hear him, Chris? Thank you. Hey, I'm struggling. I don't have parents, and I'm struggling with a uh, relationship. I'm having somebody, but communication is actually one-sided, so I need clarity on it. Okay, you've asked me four questions. It's okay, I'm not shaming you for it, but that's four. Okay. So one is I'm struggling, mm -hmm. knowing what my life direction is. I'm missing my parents. I'm feeling sad about that. Mm -hmm. I have a relationship. I don't know whether it's a good relationship. And if it is good, how can we improve our communications, which seem to be really one-sided? Okay, so which of those four topics? So I'm going to ask you an overall uh, like a question that you can answer for yourself too. Which of those can I control? So there's stuff that's within the locus of control for me, and then there's external problems that are outside of my locus of control. So can I control load shedding? No. Uh, obviously not, right? <laughs> could I control my own psychology? Yes. Maybe. I could work on it. I could do something about it. Can you control that your parents are gone? No. no. They're gone. Can you do anything about it? They're gone. Can I control my life and that it's all in this, I don't know where to go? It's a bit big. We need a personal question. So how about, how can I improve my communication in my love relationship? You want to take it? Okay. 
Right, so say it. How can I improve our, our communication in our relationship? How can I improve our communication, communication in our relationship? How can I improve my, improve communication, my communication in our relationship? Okay. But you know, do you know why I'm editing it? It's not to make you feel bad. It's to have, have you understand what's in your realm of control, what you have power over, and what you don't have power over. You don't have power over their communication. You only mm. have power over your communication. Okay. Okay, so now here we go. How can I improve my communication in our relationship? It is, it's, it's a good one. It's please stop unburdening yourself to this person. Please stop complaining about stuff that they also can't fix. Please stop bringing them bad news about what's going on in the world. Please only bring them good news about something little that happened. I saw the sunrise, something nice happened, I heard a good song, it reminded me of you. And please keep all of your communication focused on the other person, like you and me, I love you. Hi, how are you? So there's too much I and not enough you in the love communication. And there's too much problem, can you help me with my problem? And what else? Uh, apparently you're using the wrong name for the person. Okay, so let's say that this person has a long name. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What name are you calling them? The long name or the short name? Just short name. The short name. Please. Could you please start addressing the person with the long name? So, Sibongile, okay. you know, mm -hmm. the whole name. Could you please start doing that because it's more formal? And then, and more respectful. Oh, you guys are also saying that it is time to propose marriage. Are you already married? Not yet, I'm planning. Okay, that's it. Please propose marriage and, and step forward. Okay. Will you try it? I'll do it. Okay, will we please wish him luck? Yeah. You can do it. Can do it. Okay, okay, good luck, good luck, good luck. Invite us to the wedding. <laughs> All right, we're going to be dancing. Okay. Feel free to stay or go. It's up to you. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else feel that they need to go soon? You can raise your hand. You can come up. If you don't, we're going to start taking from the front, which would be you. Are you coming? Are you? You're, you're in the front row seat. Hi. 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 Good. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay. I'm excited. This is a good question and a good answer. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Okay. I know you only have a minute. What's your question? Uh, should I stay and fight for Kay, or should I go realize myself? Should I stay and? Fight for Kay. Fight for Kay, a person. Yeah, or should I continue on with life and realize myself? Um, it's not, you're, you're structuring it as a duality, and it's not a duality. You could stay and fight for Kay and realize yourself, or you could go away and not realize yourself. So it's called a false dichotomy. You've set up a false dichotomy. So it's like this. You're saying, should I move to France and become a vegetarian? Right, but I could move to France and not be a vegetarian, or I could stay in South Africa and be a vegetarian or not. Do you see that the, the dichotomy is not, it's not the math problem. The math is, the math is not math. It doesn't add up. So, um, your guides are taking the second half of it, should I realize myself, and they're saying it like this. If guides could get cross, but they don't get cross, they would say this, yes, why have you been postponing this for so long? <laughs> okay, so that's probably not how they would really sound, but that's how they're showing me to like make it exaggerated. You have creative projects inside of you, you are postponing them, you are not publishing, you need to publish, you need to get it out there, and you're putting your relationship as if it's the lever that is making you publish or not publish. That doesn't count. It is not something that makes you create or not create. So you're saying, if I had this relationship, I would be able to publish. It's not good math. I'm able to publish. All right. So now you can ask, well, but, but what do I need then if it's not the relationship? You need a mentor. You need a mentor who's ahead of you on the path. It has nothing to do with your relationship. It's a mentor who's ahead of you who will say, okay, where is it? Where's chapter one? We're ready. We're ready for chapter one. Okay. You even know who the mentor is. Well, an idea. It's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
It's that person that you're thinking of. Hello, dude. I need accountability. Hold me to it. I will produce chapter one by next month. Do you see the smile? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit uh, like recognition and I kind of was maybe going to do that anyway, but yeah, but I was kind of hung up on the relationship question. I believe in you. Would you like to see what he would publish? Yes. Why not? Let's see it. All right. All right. He's on track. He's on track. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. Okay, I've got such a pain in my neck. Is it you? It's me. Oh my God. That's so painful. Okay, come up. Let's get rid of the pain in the neck. Ow. Exactly. Through the jaw? Oh, wow. It's like a radiating pain. This is not comfortable for you. No. Okay, was that going to be your question, or were you going to ask a, an emotional question? Okay, she's going to ask an emotional question. Let's give her space and hold her, but be very quiet so that you can hear it too. Okay. It's, it's, it's not a specific question. We but need a I, specific question, but try. I, I struggle in everything. Everything that I do, there are hurdles, there are struggles. I do what I need to do. Something that you will do, I, me and you will do the, exactly the same thing, follow the same procedures, but mine will not be realized. In Why am I cursed? Is that what you're trying to ask? I don't know. It's because that's. I mean, there isn't such a thing. There is not such a thing as as as. I just need to know how to I respond better yeah. to these struggles. Yeah, I get Even it. Even if I, I see that I have not done anything. So in my work, in my work, we do two things, and maybe you heard this on Kai FM when when I was with Pamela Mutini earlier. It is sympathy and solutions. So she's not ready for solutions. She really needs sympathy first. So I'd like you all to just open your jackets a little bit and send love, just a little bit, right? Just open up and go like, gosh, you need a lot of love and support, okay? So we're gonna beam 10 seconds of love starting now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Okay, so that was the sympathy part. Now I'd like you to turn and look. These are the people who love you. Even though they don't know you, but they love you. There's a story about a woman whose child died. This is a story taught by the Buddha. And the Buddha said to the woman, um, what do you want from me? And she said, I want you to bring my child back to life. And he said, okay. I'll bring your child back to life if you can please go and get a cup of sugar from every house in the village that has not lost anyone. So she went door to door and she said, please may I, may I have a cup of sugar? But no one in your house has died, right? And they said, no, no, we just lost our, our uncle. She said, okay, I can't get a cup of sugar from you. She went to the next house. Could I please have a cup of sugar? But no one in this house has died, right? No, no, we just lost our sister just recently. Okay. She went around the whole village and she came back to the Buddha and she said, you were never going to bring my child back to life, were you? And he said, I, I never was because I knew that you would go from house to house and you would find everyone has lost someone. I'd like you to show a little finger. You don't have to raise your hand, but just a little finger. Have you recently tried something and it didn't work? Have you? Have you recently tried something and it didn't work? Have you recently tried to get a job? Have you recently tried to have a relationship? Have you recently tried to get a new house? Have you recently tried to get money and it didn't work? Can I see? You're not alone. Me too. This isn't pretend. Everyone has lost something. Everyone has lost people. You're not alone. Your first emotional problem is, I feel isolated. And you said, I feel like if you and I tried something, you would get it and I wouldn't get it. Can I have you say, I'm not alone? I'm not alone. You're not alone. Can I have you say, I'm not alone? I'm not alone. And it's hard. It's hard to try stuff and it doesn't work. 
Okay. So now for your question, now that we've done that exercise. I would like to try this. How do I do it? Give, give me one thing. You can't give me 17 things. I would like to try what? I think I want to understand. I, I, I want to try understanding myself much more better. I want to try something practical. I need a practical question. I would like to try. You're really hung up on trying to understand your problems and your curse. And I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about, I would like to try to get a new house. I would like to try to get a new job. I would like to try to get a new boyfriend. Whatever you want to say. What is it? I want to understand myself better, Shannon. And that's why I'm here, to understand if there's someone talking to me, what is it that I'm not doing correctly if I have to do things? That's what I need to understand. I think I told you the story of the Buddha. Mm. And that was your story to try yes. to understand. Yes. So I think for now, that will be the question I have. Oh, you're missing an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to ask something practical because I've given you the explanation of what's going on with yourself psychologically. I don't think you quite heard it. Do you, would you like to ask a practical question? Okay, have a seat. Thank you. Next. How are you? Thank you. Good. I have two business ideas. I'd like to know which one. Would yeah, we be can more do profitable this. For you. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Can you say, it's the idea about the thing, and it's the idea about the thing. Can you do that? It's an idea about a bakery, and it's an idea about a daycare. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the answer is both. <laughs> so. Yay! Oh, yay! We're going to have a bakery, and it's going to be um, for the children. So we're going to bake bread for the children. And it's going to have glass windows so they can watch us baking. And then we're going to teach them how to measure. This is what two cups looks like. And then we're going to put the children to work. Child labor. Yes. So cheap. No. You're going to have a baking school where you have uh, birthday parties come and they can learn how to decorate their cakes like this and they look so messy. It's both. It's child care center, bakery together. And then you have the children come in and bake. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Yes. Thank you so much. You can do it. <laughs> that is great. Um, name the suburb where it's going to open. Name the suburb. Uh, Devon. It's a yes. You got a yes. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Okay. Come on up. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have a seat. What would you like to know? Um, how do I maximize uh, the mentorship with Mashavani? How do I how do I get out of it? What I need to get out of it? Yes. How do I make the most out of it? Yes. Um, Because what I want from it is a new position. Because what yes. I want out of it is a new, like, I want to be vice president. I want to get to a really high level, yes. like an executive level, right? Yes. So, so when we say, how do I maximize it? Mm -hmm. It's not for fun. It's mm -hmm. for a job. Yes. Um, it's to be honest with them. Mm -hmm. The reason that I want this mentorship with you mm -hmm. is so that I can get that particular job. Mm -hmm. But I don't need it at this company. I could have it at that company or that company or that company and give them a range and say, you, my mentor, have an open address book. You know everybody in town. Mm -hmm. And I want you to please get on the phone as soon as you know me and trust me enough mm -hmm. and introduce me to all of your fancy pants friends <laughs> and I will have lunch with them. So your lunch calendar is going to start to be full. I'm going to go meet this one. I'm going to go meet this one. I'm going to go meet this one. And you're shopping for them as much as they're shopping for you. I know you kind of feel right now like, oh, please, sir, please yes. give me a job. But, uh, but it's actually like, you're like, well, tell me about your corporate culture. That's great. And how do you handle your time off? And do you have any overseas offices 
which is what would be very interesting for you, yes. is if you worked for a multinational and they had an office in Germany, and then you could start going back and forth from there, and then you would say, which foreign language should I learn? Yes. You know? Yeah. Are you studying a foreign language already? No, I was thinking, the things you're talking about, I was thinking about while I was driving. <laughs> yes, right. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so do you know that app that's called, um, there's one that's called Babbel, and there's one that's called Duolingo, and okay. they're both free-ish, you know, that you can get a good program for free. And um, see, I'm seeing Germany. Do you know if this mentor has friends who are German or who work for German companies? No, I don't. But I started my career in a German company and I always loved um, the how the culture. Are. Yes. One person likes Germans. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that, ha, 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 ha. I, I have German family also. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they, they were very sweet. Yes. Okay, there's one experience. Mm. That's fine. Do it. So this is for you. Okay. Can you see where where to go? Yes. Transparency. Mm -hmm. Name that job. Lunch dates. Practicality. And then why don't you just start learning German so you can at least say, Wie so geht's? so like if I the gates. <laughs> so that if I say, oh, are you learning any language? You could say, why yes, mm. I've I've been working on German for like two months. Okay. Yo, yeah, that's awesome. so nice. Yes, that's so <laughs> awesome. Great. I'm thrilled for you. Practical questions get practical answers, and then the practical answers give hope. Next. Yes, love, love story. Okay, <laughs> let's hear it. let is it a love story? In the ways. Oh! <laughs> Pull up your chairs, it's time for a love story. Okay, what's your question? Hi, um, hi, hi. thank you for coming. Hi, thank how are you? you? Um, there's an Ume Mulo celebration that I want to do. Yes. Do you know Ume Mulo? I do. Yes. So um, my question is, should I have a big celebration whereby I invite both parties of my family, both my mothers and my fathers, or should I just have a small celebration where I go celebrate with my mother's side and a couple of friends? Very good. I think that's a good question. Were you able to hear it? Yeah? It's big, you should have a big celebration, as big as possible, as big as you can afford, and bring as many people to celebrate as possible together. Please tell me about the love story, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, there's this guy that I am dating currently. Right. And he's from a very, I wouldn't say poor background, but he struggled a lot in life, lost both his parents. So, me and my mom are trying to get him back on track, back on his feet, so yeah. Okay, that's, great. That's really um, nice. Similar to the advice that we've already heard, yes. it's better if you talk about an opportunity and say, this opportunity is open for you, I've heard about it, and try not to spoon feed him or do anything that he could do for himself. So you could say, you know, we heard there's a bursary, we heard there's a job over there, you interested? And then if he feels that it's right for him, then he'll apply. But like, don't do the application for him. Promise? Promise. Yay! <laughs> I'm very happy about this though. Do you, would you like a large family? Oh, uh, how? Uh, like children? Would you Would you like to yes, have? I yes. Would, would you like to have? Like, usually people these days are having one child or two children. Yeah. And you? Max two kids, honestly. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half? <laughs> Three? Maybe two and a half. Are you ready? Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks for you. Good, good, good. Hi, what's your question? Should I be so worried about my mom's health? Okay, so there are a lot of things wrong with this question, but I'm saying it lovingly. We can never ask the question, should I be worried about anything? Should I be worried about my finances? Should I be worried about my house? Should I be worried about... You know what the angels say when I say, should I be worried? They're like, we're never worried about anything. <laughs> oh, I know you're never worried about anything, but I'm really very worried about this, about my kid, about the money, about the things, you know, I'm very worried about it. So we don't ask a should I be worried. And you're also asking a question about a third party who is your mom, who is not here, right? Yes, yes. Mm-mm, can't do. Has to be you. Do you want to sit and think about another question? Or do, you want, or do you have another question right now? So a question that we can ask is personal about me. It okay. is proactive, it is should I do. It is present tense, should I do it now? 
and it's precise. Should I have a bakery or a child care center? You know, those are very detailed. That's a specific thing that we could even imagine in our minds. Should I have a celebration with my mother's side of the family, my father's side of the family, or both? That's something that we can imagine. Can I think about it? You want to think about it? Yes, yeah, thank yeah. You. you didn't waste your, your turn. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Sir, are you ready? Okay, you can come around to the camera. Shout out to my video editor, Eddie Masaki, who's going to have to cut this. See, the phone rang just as we were taking this. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, thanks, Eddie. Cool, have a seat. Okay. I'm Shannon. I'm Jojo. Hey, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, my question is, should I move back to my birthplace or should I continue st uh, staying here in Johannesburg? Thank you. Can you tell me the motivation for moving back home? What, why? Why would you move back home? Because the house there is empty. Mm -hmm. So uh, Take care of that house. Take care of that house and sell what I have here. Okay. Because they're telling me that if you move back, sure, you would be taking care of that house, but you would be so lonely you would have no community, you would have nothing to do, it would be so boring, and you would just be like, blah. It would, it would really bring you down, and it would lead you towards a depression, which you have a slight tendency towards. So, you know, people have a, a vulnerability or a susceptibility to certain conditions. And yours is, when things don't go right in your life, you get down, you know, you get blue. And so you being alone at the house would get blue and you'd get bored. You'd fix things, okay, now I fixed the window, I fixed the door, now what? Huh, now I'm bored. And then you would just move back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, <laughs> um, it's better to rent out the house to somebody else. Do you think you can find someone that you could let it to? No, I've tried, mm -hmm. there's, there's nobody. Nobody wants so I, it. Nobody how wants how could we could say how could I let the house? Because you, it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you to move to that house. You'll get depressed, and mm. it's it's not it's not how could I let it's the not house sane, then? you know, for you to do that. Um, how could I let th the house? Then? There's they're saying that there's uh, actually a white family who owns a farm that's not that far from there, and they would like to use it as a guest house. So you could do that. Uh, is it a rural area? Yes. Uh, have you seen any, they call it in Afrikaans, incomer, people who are new to the area, who are abelungu. Have you seen? Uh, no, there are no whites coming, but they, the, the whites are in the, in, in, in the, in the next uh, district, but there are no, I've not seen whites in the district itself. How far do you think? It's about 50 k's, I think. No, I mean, between the two districts? No, I'm, I'm saying from from yeah. my house to, yeah, I hear you. to the next town where... Can you make a phone are. call? Can you make a phone call and ask if there are any new families moving in? Okay, yes, okay, I can yeah, ask. Yeah, you can because that's what I'm seeing. And, and that you say it's a white family. Yeah, I mean, so it'll be obvious. Yeah, so uh, yeah. ask for that. Okay. It would be. No. <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> They're stupid, you know? They're German. They don't know any different. They moved into an area that's not for them. I don't know. It's like that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll make it well, you you email me Pardon? after email me afterwards and tell me if you find Where out. Find but it. it's yes. like it's it's like that they would see the land is really beautiful and that it's like for tourism, you know. Yes. And that they would want to rent your house. I wonder how likely this is. You're, okay, this is the answer that I have. First, the answer is please don't move. It's not good for your health. The second answer is um, you must let the house. The third answer is you're going to let it to people that you wouldn't expect, not just your ordinary neighbors, but to strangers. Can yes. we just say strangers? Yes. Okay, let's say let's say foreigners or strangers. Mm -hmm. Then maybe I'm a little safer. Okay. <laughs> okay can I have email address then so that I know? It, it, it's shannonwalbrand.com. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, who's next? Hope. Yes. We have hope. Things are okay. Yes. Things, uh, things are okay and they're going to be better. It's right. good. Like, I feel really things are okay. okay. Okay, let's hear it. What is my personality type and which roles am I best suited for? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, do you know the Myers-Briggs, which is a four-letter 
acronym? Have you heard about it before? Mm -hmm. Okay, who has heard of the Myers-Briggs? It's kind of an HR thing, only a couple of people. So there are four letters, and you can be either this letter or that letter, this letter or that letter, this letter or that letter, and then it makes up 16, there are 16 different personality types. Look, no personality typology is accurate. I can't say because you're a Taurus, you do this, or because you're a Gemini, you do this, right? It's just not that accurate. But I can give you kind of a general idea. I can give you a picture. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a picture. Okay. What's your personality type? You are introverted, which means when you get too tense, you mm -hmm. need to be by yourself. So you need to lock the door and be like, I need my own time. Stop climbing on me. Stop asking me questions. I need to like mm -hmm. back down. You, um, the next, so it's I. Are okay. you going to be able to remember? You can write it down if you want. Okay. I don't have a pen. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. S, S as in Shannon, mm -hmm. T as in thinking, mm -hmm. and J as in judgment. Okay, so say it after me, I-S-T-J, I-S-T-J, okay. Mm -hmm. So although a personality type is not 100% accurate, an I-S-T-J is someone who works very well on her own, right? Like, without somebody climbing on top of her all the time. She sees things as they are, she doesn't get all daydreamy. She uses her mind rather than <coughs> her heart to make her first decisions. And she likes to get things done now, now. She's not, I'll think about it, I'll let you know, maybe <laughs> next week. So if you and I took a road trip, right, mm -hmm. you would be like, we need to make a reservation and we need to make a reservation. I'm yes. like, let's just find out when we get there. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a place for us. Mm -hmm. Let's find, maybe we'll stop early, maybe we'll stop late. No. Reserve. Yes. We'll be there by five. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's you. Okay, so you are a data visualizer UX UI specialist. What is this? Yeah. Do you know what it is? No, I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a data visualizer is someone who says 50% of the country looks like this and 75% of Americans do this. And then it makes the charts, right? Mm. Those pretty charts that yes. you see in the magazines. Mm -hmm. You're really good at those. Okay. Yay. And UX UI means user interface. So you know when you have your bank card and you walk up and you put it in okay. to the machine yeah. and you want to get money out? Mm -hmm. You know, Does it say, hello, hello Shannon? Yeah. Well, it doesn't say hello Shannon yeah, to you, it but it says hello Shannon okay. to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have my bank card? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, so I put in my bank card and it says hello Shannon and it says it in English. Mm -hmm. But if you go to another bank and you put in your bank card, it might say Salbona. You know, it might say, and it will have your name on it, mm -hmm. right? That's called user interface. And you know when a website or a bank has really bad user interface because you're like, which button do I push? Why isn't it giving me the money? Give me the money. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're really good at because you hate that with a passion. You hate it when something is confusing on a yeah. website, like when you have to order stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a UX UI specialist. Can you say it? I am a UX UI specialist. It means user interface. Okay. okay. So you need to learn mm -hmm. data. Mm. Data. Okay. Okay. Thank you Yay, so much. Yay, you got it. <laughs> Pa. <laughs> All right. There are a lot of jobs in that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll which explore is, it. Which is good. Please Thank do. You. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Very good. All right. Who's next? Hi, thanks for being here. Hi, Hi how are you? I'm good, good, thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Okay, what's your calling? Um, okay, I went for an interview on May, so I'm still waiting for the answer. No, we can't hear her. Okay, can you say, do you see that lady in the back who's waving her hand? Yeah, we can, okay. she has to be able to hear you too. Uh, I went for an interview uh, in May, so I'm still waiting for the answer. So the question that I have is, should I continue looking for other opportunity or yeah because we can never answer the question will they give me a job right yeah. so if the if the job hasn't called back from may it's really seriously necessary to keep on looking for work so one of the things you could ask is should i work for myself or should i work for other people you should always work for other people so uh you know some people can be freelancers and they can write you know or they can do stuff and then get paid for it just on their own no you need that structure because you know what you like you like to play the game of 
Can I get to the next level? Can I get to the next level? Can I get to, can I get an increase? Yes, can I get yes. to this job title? Can it's fun. It's, yes, it can be a fun job. And also you look amazing in a suit and in high heels. <laughs> yes. You're like, I mean, today you look beautiful, casual, <laughs> but when you put on a suit, you're like, I look amazing. <laughs> I am the boss of the world. So it's corporate. It's corporate for you. Can you name the position that you would like? Um, being a Tom the, the job? The name of the job? Town planner. Town planner? Yes. Town planner urban developer? Yes. Could we say town planner stroke urban development? Town planner stroke urban development. Yeah, I would say that. So town planner is one thing and then urban development like widens oh, it a little, yeah. little bit like into maybe, yeah, sidewalks and streets yes. and things like that. Okay, so what, so so your guys are just saying they want you to go to every different municipality, every different town, and where you came from. Where did you come from originally? Where's your home, family home? Uh, Limpopo. Yeah. And town? Uh, Chiramba. It would be really amazing <laughs> if you got a little job in a small town and then you built up on it. Did you apply there? No, I didn't like it. No, I know. Who would like it? You know what I mean? I'm the town planner for Sharamba, you know? We have one stop sign. And I put it there. Yes, I did. But sometimes you got to start somewhere, you know? So I want to be a town planner. I want to be an urban developer. Apply everywhere. Everywhere that you can think of. Yes, I do that. You will do that. Thank I know. I believe you. in you. Stop signs forever. Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Okay, who's ready? I'm ready for you. Hi, thanks for coming. Hi, how are you? Okay, thanks. Great. Okay, what's your question? Okay, my question is, uh, should I remain hopeful in finding a soulmate? Could I even make it more empowered? Could I say, how can I find a soulmate? So remaining hopeful would be, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. <laughs> but yeah, do I hear a knock at the door? <laughs> it's my soulmate! <laughs> Could I say, how can I find? Mm -hmm. How can I find a soulmate? Yes, so that takes action on your part, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. So what action can I take to find a soulmate? Um, would you be willing to marry a minister, a priest? Not a government minister. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no go area. Uh, would you be willing to marry a religious person? Yeah. Yeah. A kind person. A kind person and a religious person could be the same, maybe not, but could be. Um, they're asking for you to consider marrying someone who is religious. So that would cross out the Catholics. <laughs> Catholic priests can't get married, right? But um, ministers can get married. And you yourself, are you interested in studying religion? Nope. What do you think your calling is, your life calling? Hmm. To teach some, somehow. Teach I up. also agree. I also <laughs> agree. Would you be willing to teach Bible studies? I never considered that. Were you raised in a church? Yeah, I'm in a church. And when you were a child, were you raised in a church? Did you did you learn? Did you sing? Did you go to church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Okay, the way to meet a minister is to go to minister school. The way to meet somebody that you can marry is to find out where they hang out. Sunday school teacher, kind of, yeah. Um, you're asking what the best fit is for you, and the best fit for you is somebody who is ethical, someone who keeps his word and doesn't lie. You're looking for someone who is stable, and you're looking for community development, so you're looking for somebody who cares about the people. Mm -hmm. So the other approach would be that you work for a charity or a soup kitchen or some kind of organization that collaborates and cooperates with churches and organizations. Would you prefer to take that route? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it would be to get heavily involved in a church-based charity. Okay. Let's hear it. I can marry a minister. Can you say that? I can marry a minister. You can. Because c couldn't, couldn't you be here? But let's stand up. 
couldn't this be your congregation, right? Couldn't this be your congregation? You <laughs> <laughs> could, right? And you say, welcome, the services will begin soon, and we'll be having coffee afterwards. Welcome to the same city again soon. We'll be having a coffee afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. But, but, you know, sometimes I say, like, what you imagine can come true. Uh, but it's not just, I'm just going to sit around and imagine it. It means now you have to take steps to get closer to that. Um, but once you put yourself in that role, so I'm a book writer, now I have to write a book. I'm a musician, now I have to make music. I'm a teacher, now I have to teach. So charity or div divinity studies, biblical studies, those are your ways forward. Can you say, I think this is possible? I think this is possible. I think so too. Okay, that's <laughs> great. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready. Who's coming? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take her first because she had the half a question before. Thanks, okay, Shannon. you got one. So it's personal, proactive, present tense, and precise. Let's hear it. Should I leave my current job? And do what? And pursue the... Uh, Find another job. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Okay. Isn't it great though? Because she gets three chances. But if it's should I leave my job, then that then my follow up would be and do what? And then she goes and find another job. But that's not a do what. No, it's not a and it's not precise. It's just oh, I'll just go find another job somewhere else. But it's not a dream come true. What we're trying to do is make your dream come true. You're going to marry a minister, you know, you're going to start a child care center and a bakery, you're going to write a book, you're going to do something. Our life is not here just to be like, I'll have a job, and then I'll have another job, and then I'll have another, now I'm dead. <laughs> dream, dream, dream. So what's your dream? What's your dream? Can I something, something? Can, I, can you leave your job? Sure, anybody can leave a job. To do what? To do what? She's got one. She's got one. She does. She has a dream. Okay. Hi. I have a dream. I know you do. I can see it from here. Yes, I can. Okay, have a seat. Okay, here's a person with a dream, and we're going to applaud her dream even before we know what it is. So let's say whatever she wants to do, right? You can do it. You can do it, too. You can do it. 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 Okay. What's the question? Uh, it's it's multi pronged, but um, okay. One question. Right. Yes. I would like to have a family of my own. Yes. Um, but my age, I'm like 37 already, so it worries me. How can I have a baby? <laughs> okay. I suppose. Or oh, will I? There's no will I here. We don't do any fortune telling. Nothing is written in stone. Nothing. You could all just give up right now and do nothing. And then you know what would happen? Also nothing. And that would be fine. That would be your choice. If you just uh, decide to do nothing, nothing happens. Or something else happens, but not what you wanted to happen. That's how it is. You want to say, will I have a baby, and yes. will I fall in love, and will I get married? Yes. I know you do, but yes. no, that's not how it goes, so okay. Uh, I, I, how can I, how can I uh, journey towards finding someone to start a family with? How can I have a baby? How can I have a baby? On your own. Because mm -hmm. every time you meet someone, as mm -hmm. soon as you get closer to that point, they whoop, run away, fly away, <laughs> fly away, fly away. But if you show up mm -hmm. and you already have a baby and you're like, package, deal, then they have to take you or leave you. But you've been doing this for a long time. You've been dating and then you get closer mm -hmm. and then you're like, this, this one, no, mm -hmm. here's my baby daddy, wah, <laughs> ah, ah. And then as soon as you get close, then whoop. Mm -hmm. So the answer is single mother by choice. If I choose to have a baby on my own, then I have this baby. Mm -hmm. And then the next person that I meet, then you say, this is us, you know, this is, this is who we are. So you don't hide the baby. Mm -hmm. You don't say like, mm -hmm. I'm here. Oh, by the way, I have a baby. It's like, I'm here and I have a child. Because you know what? You're a great mom. You're a great mom. You're a great mom. Mm -hmm. Have you had any children yet? Mm -mm. 
You are a really good mom. You know why? You see the child for who they are. You say, you're interested in dinosaurs? Let's learn all about dinosaurs. <laughs> You want to read? I'll read to you. Mm. You want to stay up late and eat popcorn? I'll stay up late with you and eat popcorn. That's mm. the benefit of being an older mother is that you don't really care. Okay. So it's fine. Okay. You are fertile. You can have a baby. I'm not a medical professional, but I can mm. see stuff. So I can see there's at least one child around you, like mm. helicopter, waiting to land, zzz, waiting to land, waiting to land. Can you see the baby? Do you feel him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter. Okay, yes, I see a baby boy. Um, I see a very healthy child. And I think that you should just allow yourself to fall, fall pregnant without involving that person and without putting their name on the birth certificate and just doing it on your own, having the child without telling them, and then raise the child until he's two, and then find out that there is somebody that you want to start a family with, but the family is somewhat pre-packaged because of your pattern. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, I see five times that this has happened already. How many times has it happened that you've gotten really close? A couple of times. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's break that pattern. Right. And then you'll get the dream, you get the dream. It's just, it's the same dream, different order. Okay, thank you. You don't always get what you want, but you can get what you need. Hello, Mom. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Okay, do you think you have angels? Yes, I do. What do they do for you? They've done a lot. Uh, I've been through a lot, and somehow every time I manage to get up and get going. I see they saved your life. A lot of times. I really see they like saved your life. You were in danger, you were in trouble, and they pulled you out of danger. Uh, so you know that it's Michael? Michael is the archangel? I know about Michael, but yeah. I didn't know it was him. He's the archangel Michael. He's, they usually picture him with a big sword, and he's uh, stabbing like a dragon, you know? Okay. But um, you've been pretty close to being in some big trouble in your life, and they've pulled you right out. So you are blessed and guided, but you know what it also means? Mm -hmm. It's time to stop taking those many risks. Okay. It's time to really, you, I mean, they're overworked and underpaid, these angels, you know? Okay. They're like, <laughs> I'm working 24-7 to protect you, okay. so don't walk home by yourself. Okay. Stop, stop taking any risks. Okay. I'm talking about your personal security and the, yeah. your safety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I, I'm seeing stuff. All right. Yeah. No, that, that you have already gone through. Have you been hijacked? Have you had trouble like that? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Minor accidents. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm glad. Great. Okay. Let's hear your question for today. Um, I've been running my own business, and it hasn't been doing well. I started looking for a job. So the question is, should I continue applying for jobs? Could you ask the question, how can I make my business work, or do you think it's not going to work? To be honest, I'd like to make it work, so perhaps I, that's the question, I think how do a, I make it work? I think that's a better question because they're also telling me that you haven't had luck yet with finding a job. Yes, I and haven't. that market, I mean, who has applied for a job lately, who has not gotten a job lately? I mean, it's there, it's, it's, it's not that easy right now here in South Africa. Some parts of the world, they're saying, oh, it's such a hot job market for workers and it's kind of in South Africa it hasn't really happened yet um, okay the first thing that they're saying about your business is that it is hidden it is invisible okay. nobody knows that your business exists okay. so I would like to know are you the only person who knows that your business exists and my clients that I work with yeah okay so the only people. the previous clients but yeah. what about like if you said the name of your business would these folks have heard no, of it no, no, no. But what if we did a big marketing campaign using all free marketing materials so that your business got a reputation and got famous? Okay. Would that work? Yeah. Would that help? Okay. Give us the one-line pitch. So here you are, you're on television, you're being, op you're being interviewed about your business, and you could say, my business solves this problem for you cheaper and faster than anybody else. Okay, but you say solves the problem. Tell me what your business does. Okay. My business. 
My business solves all your bookkeeping, accounting, and tax problems for you, cheaper and efficiently. None of my clients have ever been audited by SARS. Yeah, none of my clients have been ever been audited by SARS, but if they have, or they have been, have they? Some. And then what but happened? They, we've been successful. There you go. Very few of my clients have been audited by SARS, but when the two or three were, we, they passed because I run a clean shop. I don't cheat. Mm. I am. Why do you keep doing this? Because I suddenly got a headache. A headache because because marketing is a real headache for you. <laughs> you don't. You're good at what you do, yeah. but you are not so good at the marketing. Mm. But you have a kid. Yeah. How old is your kid? I've got two. One is the older one, yeah, and the other one is nineteen and nineteen. Right. So it's the twenty-two-year-old uh. can put your business on TikTok for you. Okay. Yeah, you're having a migraine, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. Should this woman do her own marketing? No. Should she outsource it to kids who know how to do the cool social media thing? Yeah. So we're calling it "My Books Are Clean." The campaign is called "My Books Are Clean." I'm an ethical person. I pay my taxes. You know, I never get audited, even if I do, we pass, because actually, you are clean, aren't you? When you run books, you make yeah. sure that they're, they're totally good. Yeah. Could you please prevent anybody coming to you who are doing money laundering or anything like that? Okay. Like you say, oh, thanks, but I'm booked, I'm fully, I don't have, I can't take you on, sorry. <laughs> you mafia folk or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I think you should go take some yeah. headache medicine. Okay. Thank okay. You. Right. So, go back to your business, do marketing, and double your clients, and do their taxes, and don't get a job job because you won't like it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're doing well. We're keeping time. Thank you. Hi, you get to pull a card. Hi, I get to. ready for you. What is your question, please? Um, Have a seat. Thank you. Should I stay in my current relationship? Okay. So how we do it is you knock three times on the cards. Right. And then you'll pull them towards you like this. I'll demo. I'll demonstrate it. And then that would be the card that gets revealed. Okay. okay. So we take the card that gets revealed. Should I stay in my relationship? So we're going to get a red light for no or a green light for yes. Okay, go ahead and pull the cards towards you. It's that one. Okay. Read it. Yellow light. This oh. doesn't help. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does help eventually. Pause, reflect, wait and see. Mm. Check things out. Don't rush through. You don't have enough evidence to reject the person. Do you think you do? No. How can I possibly make this relationship work? I feel so drained. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> want to I don't want to ask that. Okay, can you please say, how can I possibly make this relationship work? Because you did not get a strong reject. Okay. How can I possibly make this relationship work? You are not presenting your needs adequately and giving the person enough time to meet your needs. And then you're saying, you don't meet my needs. And the person says, you have needs? <laughs> so that's the dynamic I'm seeing. How long have you been together? 15 years. That's a long time. Have you presented what you really love, what your passions are? Have you been transparent? And have you, have you revealed yourself? You know what I really want to be when I grow up? You know what I really love? I really love yellow roses. I don't love red roses. You know what my favorite color is? You know what I what my favorite flavor of candy is? You know what I is it have you you can you can tell me. You can tell me. Not really. You know if you guys went on one of those married quizzes, like one of those family feud types <laughs> things, and they asked your partner, Tell me all about her, he'd be like, She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was in an Uber the other day and I, I turned to the, the, the driver and I were talking about his relationship and he, he said you're the fortune teller from the radio. And mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. And he said, what about my wife? I said, yeah, she's cool. And he said, uh, I said, in fact, her name means, he hadn't said her name yet. I said, her name means she's your light. Mm. She's showing you the way forward. And he says, I don't know. And I, I said, what's her name? And he said, her name is Mohadi. 
And I said, I don't know what Mohadi means either. And I looked it up and it says, guiding light. And I'm like, okay, Mohadi, guiding light. And he's like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't know, it's in another language, I don't know. So he had never learned what his, he'd never learned what his wife's name meant. I found that sad. They'd been together for many years. So there's a chance of saving this relationship if you could reveal what you actually want. But it's hard for you to reveal what you actually want because you don't trust that you're going to get your needs met. What's your favorite kind of candy? Chocolate. What kind? <laughs> Hazelnut. Lint? Or yes. Like a lint? Yes. Um, what's your favorite show? Mm. What's your favorite channel? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we may have a problem. What's your favorite color? Black. What's your favorite uh, shop, if I took you to the mall? The bank. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Um, but yes, if we went, if clothing, we went clothing, if we went shoe, clothing shop, shoe shops, right? Yes. Where would you like to go? Do you want to go to Aldo? Where Where should I take you for shoes? Aldo would be nice. What's your favorite perfume? Um, Olympia. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay. If you could change your own name, what name would you rather have been named? Mm, Sandra. <laughs> Seriously, I like Sandra. Could you ask your partner to start calling you Sandra? Weird, but okay. <laughs> but do you see what it is? It's asking for small favors to see if they can rise to the occasion. They might forget. Where would you go on vacation? France. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you have to know what you like in order to tell somebody else what you like. You have to be brave enough to tell somebody else what you like and risk that they won't always fulfill your needs. But you've been running a game on this person and the game is, I'm here, but I'm not actually here. I'm present, but I'm not actually present. I'm leading a secret life and I'm not gonna tell you about who I am. So it's kind of like you're a spy. Okay. I'm gonna make a... I'm going to make a bet with you. Okay. If you did this for a month, you will see an increase of romance in your relationship. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Applause, please. <laughs> Support. <laughs> Thank you. I like to support people, especially when they're doing something vulnerable. And that's, it's time for some vulnerability. Okay, next in the line. <laughs> Are you here just to lurk? <laughs> I don't expect this from I don't know the organizer. Uh, are you here for this event? Yes. Then it's time for your question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's your first language? Bulgarian. Okay. Dobrytien. Dobrytien. <laughs> Yakusomat. Pardon? How are you? I'm good. I said akusomate. Mm, that's not in my language, oh, sorry. I tried. <laughs> how do you say, how are you? Kakste. Kakste. Yakste. Yakusomate. Okay, got it. Okay. okay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm well. Thank you, I'm also well. I'm talking to your angels. Okay. And if you have a question that is, should I do something? Okay. I'll give you a yes or a no. Okay. And maybe how. Do you have a question? Okay. Should I keep writing children's books? Yes, ma'am. You should keep writing children's books. Oh, she has a question. Should I start illustrating some of them? <laughs> the question is for you, from okay. you. Okay, okay. So there has been, so this is a traffic sign, right? Okay. It's a small speed bump okay. in the road. There's been lately a little problem in the okay. writing. It's just a speed bump. It's just a okay. temporary delay. You're letting it become a big mountain and you're letting it stop you from doing what you really love to do okay. and what you're really called to do and your gift is to share these stories with the world. You're like the modern day Grimm brothers. Okay. Well, thank you. It's true though. 
It's true. You're bringing truth and you're sharing it with a lot of people. The stories that you're telling are not superficial. They're actually very deep. Thank you. It's true. Don't let the little speed bump stop you. Keep going. Roll forward. Thank you. Okay, you did it. She did it. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Okay, next person, please. Would you like to come from over there? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank yes. you. Confused, but yes. Confused. Nice yeah. to see you confused. Yeah. Let's see you clear. Um. How, should, no, how do I put myself out there? In terms of? Um, relationships. Okay, in terms of love. See, you mm -hmm. could say in terms of career or mm -hmm. in terms yes. of, okay. Yeah. How do I put myself out there in terms of relationships? Anybody else have this question? Are we helping anybody else by answering her question? Maybe? Okay, they gave me some body language to start, which was roll up my sleeves. So it means roll up my sleeves and get to it. There's a woman on the internet who's called um, Amy Webb. Have any of you seen her video? Amy Webb hacks the dating sites. And it is, she looked at all the statistics of who got called and who got dates and who got married after they went on the dating sites and she was a data visualizer much like someone we just talked to. They found out that women got dates when they showed their shoulders. That was it. It was bare shoulders like this. So she would be wearing a dress and then she would show her shoulders. Then she would get a date. They said if she put her hair up and she showed her neck, she would also get a date. And also if she took a full body shot like this, she would also get a date. But if she just did a head shot like you're on LinkedIn, then no, you wouldn't get a date. <laughs> so it's time for you to hit the dating sites with a professional-ish photo series. But you have to take off your coat for the, sh for the shots. You have to actually wear like a dress that you would wear to a matric mm. ball and you have to stand up and show the whole body and then you have to be specific about your weirdnesses so you are weird <laughs> i know yeah <laughs> she is though she's i mean we all think we're a little bit weird but this one is a little bit weirder <laughs> than most of us which is okay you know so like some people just watch TV, go home. No, <laughs> not, not our friend here. She does something else. Okay, what, what is it that you really like that other people don't know anything about? I like my own company most of the time. Like I go home. I like my own yes. company and I like to go home and then I like to get on the internet and I like to research. What? What do you watch? A lot of series. Yes. Yeah. Do you like a lot of, are they murder series? Medical. Medical. There. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. So then in your profile you say, mm -hmm. I'm addicted to medical series. Please only apply if you like Grey's Anatomy yes. as much as I do. <laughs> Is it Grey's Anatomy? Okay. It's Grey's Anatomy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yay! Yay. I like it when we get a detail, you know? Because that means that her angels are like really there with her. Hi. Hi. Mm. I'm happy you're here. How are you? I'm you. Fine. Thanks. Have a seat. I'm Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hi, what's your what's your question today? I'd like to know what should I do to improve my life? It seems like it's boring. Like what should I do to make it It's a bit broad. Do you mean which hobby should I take up? Yeah, or are you trying to ask about your love? I mean, this is a little bit like this lady in the front, like, my whole life is bad, what should I do? Is that what you mean? No, like, it's the same routine, going to work, gym, home. Like, what should I do in between to make it a little bit spicy? Yeah, I hear you. But I wonder if there's a deeper question at, at play here, which is what is my true calling? Because mm -hmm. I'm just here 
working and it's not enough. What's my true calling? What is, what is my true calling? Is that, is that possible? Because I don't feel like if we told you to do stamp collecting, you know, you're like, no, now I have a hobby. <laughs> it would be really, it's not really enough. You want something intense. Yeah, I want something like... You want something profound. You want something for real. How many children do you already have? One. Would you be? I don't want kids. <laughs> if, you know, I was going there. I really was. I was like, would you be willing to adopt a teenager orphan? You can say no. I have a teenage boy, so he's hands full. Yes. Maybe I should say that that could be a later chapter. Teenage orphans are unadoptable. And, you know, they kind of wander around and it's, it's really rough. So when they're babies, they're more likely to be adoptable. And then when we have clusters of two or three orphans who are together, they're almost unadoptable. But after you get like a 12 year old orphan or a 14 year old orphan, then that's it. And then they usually, not always, but can drop through the cracks. And, and that's, that's really a big problem. So would you adopt an orphan is a question for anybody in the room. Would you adopt a teenage orphan? It's a huge challenge, but if you could foster them for two years, you might be able to do, you might be able to save a life. Okay, this is the answer. Oh. Delays on your path won't keep you from your dreams. So the picture is of a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Okay, the card that we drew was traffic jam. Delays on your path won't keep you from your dreams. You had a dream when you were a child and you're not living it. So that's the answer. So a little bit like the man sitting in the front row. Mm -hmm. You wanted to do something, but instead you got caught up in the rat race. Okay, what did you want to be when you were little? Ballerina? <laughs> Actress? Something impossible. It's something that if she, if she, she doesn't want to say because it would be like, well, I, I can't say that because it would be impossible, so why should I even bring it up? Okay, what is it? When you were five, what did you want to be? Oh, I don't remember. Really? Uh -huh. What did you dress up as? You know when you wrap the, t the sheets around yourself and you do acting and stuff uh -huh. in the house? What were you? Can you tap into that? What was your nickname when you were a little, ge a little girl? You, they call me like... My, my uncle called me Gugu, like Granny. Yeah, okay. So could you possibly have wanted to become a Sangoma? No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. She's big on the no. Let's see what we can get a yes to. Okay, okay. I'm going to do what's called reverse psychology. The answer is you should collect stamps. Thank you very much for coming. You know, I, I'm very much big in giving, like, I like to share and everything, but the Sangoma thing, no. Fine. But it can't be, my life is boring, so I just need a hobby, so I guess I'll just collect stamps. You know, that's not it. Mm. There's a calling there. There's a deep vocation. There's something that you wanted to be when you were a child, and then you told yourself, I can't do that. Is it artist? Like drawing. Maybe. Let's see. My son is an artist. My son is an artist. We're getting closer. Is your son an artist because you wanted to be an artist no. and you denied it? No. no okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you to have a seat. And not that we're not done with you, mm -hmm. but you haven't reflected enough. So you came up here saying, my life is a little bit boring. I think I need something to spice it up. I only go to work and I go to gym. And your guides are saying, she has a calling. She's mm -hmm. rejecting it. So I said, artist, I said adopt a teenager, I said Sangoma, no, and none Sangoma. of those things were right, so have a seat and think about it, and then we'll call, we'll, we'll circle back to you. Okay, if you wanted to be something when you were a child, it doesn't mean that that's what you like totally have to be, like if you wanted to be an actor, it doesn't mean that you have to be on Isidingo when you're growing up, <laughs> but it means that you could attempt to do something like that, like you could start a podcast. So therefore you could be famous to 27 people and that would be enough that would fulfill your need to, you know, present and, and get your voice out there. Okay, ready? I know that was a lot of pressure for you, wasn't it? That was, now she's having a heart attack. Okay, who's next? Yep, it's you.
Ready for you. Hi! Thanks for coming! Hi! Nice I'm to see so you. I'm so glad we spoke online. Oh, really? Ah! Yes. What, what do you mean online? On the radio? No, no. I, I actually called you um, in Feb. Oh, we had a Zoom call. Yes. Okay, great. And, and you said, so I was in between jobs. Can you, can you hear her in the back? It's yeah. a little bit loud with the traffic. Okay. Yeah. So we had a Zoom call back in February. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and, and, and what did you say then? And, and then I wanted to know whether I should take the job that I was busy applying for or stay where I am. And you said yes and no. <laughs> so, um, but I saw after that what you meant. But you said you see me back at my job, my current, the current job that I was having. So I applied, I was successful, but we couldn't agree on the money. <laughs> so... Um, then it was all great, but I was very disappointed, I have to say. But then I remembered you still thought I would still stay where I am. So my question today is, okay. I'm here. Hi. I'm <laughs> Starting I'm, from now, yes? yes. Okay. I'm at my job, yes. Um, at least you're employed. Yes, yes. No, I am very, I'm happy. The only thing is that I keep on thinking, am I fulfilling how do I, what do I focus on at my job that will make me feel like um, it's worth my while staying there? Because I've been there for, for long. <laughs> so what do I focus on? Because I, I don't want to say I will leave. I, I want to know how do I make it worth my while while I'm there so that I fulfill my purpose. I get it. But do you know that most Joe Burgers, when they ask me, what is my purpose, they mean, what is my purpose? Should I be an accountant? <laughs> oh, no, Joe Burgers laughed no. at the joke. Okay. It's because purpose is, mm. what am I here for? Why did God make me? Mm. And job is, by the yeah. way, at this moment, I'm an accountant. And next year, I might be, you know, mm. uh, a, an office manager, or I might be a vice president or something. But job and purpose are different things. But in Johannesburg, because we live on the city of gold, we are really only interested in job as purpose. Like, my purpose yeah. is my job. So I tried to tell a joke that didn't land. Tough, <laughs> tough room. Um, because you're doing the same thing. So how can I, it's okay though. How can I stay at my job? Question mm -hmm. one. How can I find my life purpose or what is my life purpose? So. How can I stay at my job? You can stay at your job because it's paying your bills, thank God, so that's good. So just stay at your job and say, thanks for the money. How about some more? Mm. It's just about the money. This job is just about paying your bills. It is not your life purpose. Okay. Okay. So knowing that, oh, look, sadness. <laughs> I thought my job was, I'm an account manager, and I thought this was it. <laughs> I thought that God created me to be an account manager. What if God created you to not be an account manager? But what if God created you to be a person? Mm. Is an account manager a person? Mm. Not really the same thing. Mm. When you go to heaven, are you going to go, I was a very good account manager. <laughs> <laughs> you, know wow. what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah. Okay. No, I can. Please ask me the question, what is my purpose? Why was I born? Why was I born? To be a healer. But it doesn't mean you have to, you know, live in a hut, dress, it, go in the river and stuff like that. You have healing in your hands. And if you look closely, you have a big X on your hands, much bigger than I do. Let's see. Whoa, nice one. <laughs> do you see that? Mm. Okay, now look at mine. Do you see any? Mm -mm. Right? Okay, so it's not like everybody has an X on their hands. Let's look over here. Whoa. Look at that. Okay, put your hand like that to the camera. Do that. Like, show. Can you see it? That is like a healthy looking X right in the middle of the palm. Yeah? Can you focus on it? Yeah. Nice, that's it. That's all we wanted to show. Okay, so you're a healer. You have hands on healing. And hands on healing, hands on healing, if you have a nice big X solidly in the middle of your um, hand, you can put it on top of your head. I know you have a head wrap on. But can you put it where you can touch skin, like that? Okay. okay. So can you feel warmth? Can you feel heat? Um, 
the healing in your hands is useful as Reiki. So Reiki is one of the words that's modern use for healing with your hands. But you could heal headaches, you could heal heartaches, you could heal tummy aches, you could heal back aches, just with the palm of your hand. And if you take a Reiki class, it can get accelerated, but that's why you're actually here. And your job is just a bursary or a scholarship for you to be a healer, because as we know, healers don't really make a lot of money. So oh. keep your job and learn how to be a hands-on healer. Okay. Anybody yeah. got a headache? <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, and thanks for showing me the X on your hand. Thank you. That's thank nice. You. Ah, she's got a calling. She's got a calling. Yay! Okay, how many people do we have left who have a question? Let me let me see a, a show of hands. I see two hands, three hands. Okay, let's take you. Come on up. Yes, you made it. Hi, I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Good. I'm excited for you. Ooh, okay. So Hi. My question is one of... Can you hear her? Yes? Go ahead. Um, I'm taking a question from one of your other questions. Um, what vision should I have of myself in five years and what are its most important elements? Okay. Did you hear the question? Okay. Try it so that they can hear it. Um, what vision should I hold for myself in five years and what are its most important elements? That question, um, what vision should I hold for myself in five years' time and what are its most important elements, comes from my free book of 100 questions. Has anyone downloaded my free book? It is free. It's a free, free book. And you can download it and then you can ask your own questions in your own time, if you want. And using your own um, tools, for example, you can use the angel cards. Okay. Art. Art gallery. Artists representing artists, mm -hmm. representing artists and taking them overseas. They can be um, painters or they can be musicians. Uh, they can be children's groups. They can be choirs like the Drakensberg Boys Choir. Mm -hmm. They can be church choirs. Travel, traveling with them, uh, leading them. But there's a block and the block is your physical health and it has to do with your allergies. What are you? Allergies. You really do yeah. though. Yeah, it's like terrible. Yeah. Um, you're going to need to treat your allergies because they're going to start knocking you down faster and harder. Um, do you know the herbal remedy wormwood? It's umshlonyane. Do you know umshlonyane? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. So umshlonyane, if, if you could please buy it, you can even buy it at Discam. Mm -hmm. It's also called lengana, lentana. Thank you. What is it? Lengana. Lengana. Thank you. Um, you can buy it even at Discam, they have it. Or you can get it from a herbalist and you can start drinking it like tea. It tastes terrible. Mm. And that's how you know that it's working. Mm. But you have to clear up the allergies so that you'll be able to be free to travel quite a bit. What mm -hmm. is your favorite art form right now? Oof. I have no idea. I read a lot, like all the time. So could you be representing authors? Could you be mm -hmm. representing poets? Mm -hmm. Do you know Lebo Mashile? Yes, I do know. Personally? Yes. No. But you know who she is. Yes. So there is a young crop of people who are like those authors mm -hmm. and how do they get represented overseas so how do you work with the departments of arts and culture mm -hmm. to scoop them up and show them to larger audiences you know what what's really nice about you is you're shyish yeah. but you're not <laughs> shyish on behalf of other people mm -hmm. oh you should hear about my friend they're mm -hmm. so brilliant they're so terrific so it's very easy for you to talk about other people it's extremely hard for you to talk about yourself so I mean the answer that I got was the arts it was art mm -hmm. and it was um, take an ugly situation, which you're in right now, and make it beautiful. Be creative, transform it, put your name on it. So mm -hmm. you could be an artist's rep. Um, there's a publicity agency called Buzz, B-U-Z. Have you heard of them? Mm -mm. Okay, go study them, mm -hmm. see how they do things, maybe go work for them. But this is, this is a possible vision for yourself in five years' time. But travel, man, don't you want to just totally I'm, go? I'm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for you. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm willing to give you another try. Would you like to ask a practical question? Sorry. Practical? Yes. We're going practical. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> okay.
Okay. See, I just tried so hard. Okay. What is your most practical question? I'll, I'll ask about my life purpose. What is my life purpose? I was looking for a practical question, a very practical, specific question. I was willing to answer hers about life purpose because it gave her a job, but you already have a job. No, I'm currently out of the job. I'm just, I'm running a business at the moment. Can we ask about that? But the business. Can we, can we do, how can I make my business work? Okay, how can I make my business work? Ah, uh, thank you so much. How can I make my business work? Okay. The answer is work. So she says, how can I make my business work? And the answer is work. You know the sign. Mm -hmm. It means road work. There's work there. Okay. And the answer is, now is the moment to put in the effort. Holidays are for later. Focus. Stay motivated and meet your deadlines. This is really hard for you to do. It's really hard for you to focus. It's really hard for you to get stuff done. It's frustrating. Um, how can I focus better and how can I make things happen for my business? Can you read this card? Can you read it out loud? Okay, it says work. Now is the moment to put up in the effort. Holidays for later. Focus. Stay motivated. Meet your deadlines. Which line do you think stands out for you the most? I must stay motivated. Okay. Can you put on my glasses for a second? Mm. <laughs> Now try reading. Work. Now is the moment to put in the effort. Holidays are for later. Focus. Stay motivated. Meet your deadlines. Anybody see where I'm going with this? It would be really good if you got glasses. I have glasses. Are you wearing them? Yes, they're in my car. Okay. It's really hard for you to focus when you don't have your glasses. You need to carry them all the time. You really do need to wear glasses when you're doing your reading at work. So your eyes need more attention. In fact, you might need a different script. It's almost like that. It's funny, huh? Okay, now we're getting a slight smile. Slight! Slight! In order to focus, you need glasses. But in order to stay motivated, you need a vision. The, the small business that you have doesn't have enough clients or customers right now. Mm -hmm. What they would like you to do is to double down on each customer and tell them that you'll give them a discount if they buy another thing. So like I offer a 10 question session, so I would say I'm offering you a 10 question session and usually I say come back in a year and I would say come back in six months or I would sell you a, a sandwich and I would sell you a sandwich and a half. Because it doesn't really cost me that much more to make a sandwich and a half, but it makes the customer really loyal. So customer loyalty, double dipping, going back, doubling down, getting the customer again, and getting the customer to refer another customer and giving them a bonus for that referral for you too. That's, that's good for you. For every customer that you get a referral for, then you give a 10% discount on the original services. Okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Thanks very much. You have a good vision in front of you. There is hope. I have hope for you. I believe in you. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, who's new? Who has a question? We have two or three more people in the back. Let's go. Hey! How are you? Pleased to meet you. I'm fine. I'm nervous. Okay, good. Be nervous. Okay. Okay. Um, should I leave? Should I leave my current job and like just working in corporates in general um, to take up woodwork um, as a career? Yes. So what we're really going to focus on is should I take up woodwork? So she's saying should I leave corporate? Should I leave my job? But the the most interesting part is should I do this thing? Should I do this, right? It's what are we going towards? So should I take up woodworking? And if I did, how could I make that happen? Work. So th there are two ways that you could make it happen. You could do teeny. You could do teeny like earrings. You could do tiny or you could do furniture. Yeah, I like furniture. You like furniture better? You do like furniture like this, this, these curves of the legs here? Yeah. yeah. So turning the lathe work. Do you have a turner? Gzz that makes the turn the leg no i don't have that okay it, do you see how that that metal leg looks yes. this metal leg okay yes. so you know how you take a, a cylinder and then you make it have those pieces 
Okay, they're saying lay of the work. That that's what that's called. Turner. Oh, okay. No, I'm just starting. So if I. That's okay. I'm just throwing vocabulary <laughs> okay. at you so that you'll know that. The first machine that it would be good for you to learn how to use is a turner, a lathe, okay. that makes the round version of that table leg. Should I make furniture? Yes. How can I make it work? By not competing with the shops. So you cannot compete with Mr. Price Furniture. You cannot compete with at home. Yeah. Who you should follow instead is the furniture are the furniture makers Dr. and Mrs. Okay. and Gregor Jenkin. So those are bespoke furniture makers. So you're going to be working for individual rich people who have enough money to say, I would like you to make this kind of a table for me. You are an artisan. You are a one-on-one -on -one furniture maker. Mm -hmm. So don't put your stuff up at a market and don't sell your stuff to Woolworths or a big shop. Do one-on-one -on -one work. So it would be successful if I take it up full time. You're asking too much. Oh. You haven't even you haven't even started yet. So you could say, how can I how can I make it successful by finding patrons, by finding individual people who buy furniture like this? Okay. How do we find them? By getting the magazine Visi V I S I. Have you seen it? No. Okay, so all of these things are new. So she's going into a new area, right? Like, like what if I said, oh, you're a jazz musician, terrific. You should listen to? You must care. You should listen to? Jazz musicians, right? But then you would name all of the jazz musicians that you knew, and you should learn how to play the trumpet, and you should go to that jazz festival, and you should get those records, and you should listen to that radio station. So all of those things are, are new, but I'm showing them to you now, even though you're going to only apply them in, in a year's time. Find out who is making bespoke furniture. Who is it? Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Dr. and Mrs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> the other guy's name? Gregor mm, Jenkins? Ah, I'll tell you afterwards. Okay, fine. Okay. okay. Oh, did, it, did somebody hear? Gregory Jenkins. Yeah, you did. It. Thank you very much. The lady who's the art rep? Do you see the artist representative yes. at the back? She knows all the artists in town. Okay. You can talk to her about it. And the, and the magazine is called? VC. Ah, you got it. Okay, go for it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. No guarantees in life, but that is how you could get there. Okay, cool. Okay, one more? Do I have one more person in the back? It's you. It's your turn. Do you get a second round? Do you get another round? Yes, but you said I was coming. Yes, but it is late. It's later now. Now is later. This is this is it. You get your chance now or never. You ready? Yes. How are you? Good. I'm good, thanks. Good. Oh, sorry for coming with me. You yes. can speak so that they can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm currently going through a divorce, um, and during the process, I had found someone. So I would like to know if I should I continue with the current relationship. Why did you give me the divorce context? Why didn't you because just say, should it's I... it's still active, it's still not final, final. But you're not going back to that wife, they're telling me. That's yes. done. Yes. So you didn't have to give me the divorce context. Okay. You could. I mean, it's okay that you did, but do you see that he's feeling really guilty? <laughs> so he's still like, I'm a married person, and I have this other person. But yeah. you're not a married person anymore. It's, yes. You're just waiting for the papers to be signed. Exactly. But the yeah. guilt is keeping you from really engaging with this next person. Mm -hmm. Or like more like opening up fully. Yeah. But yeah, relationship is good, but yeah. Because it's hard to be vulnerable in relationships, mm. isn't it? Um, how about if you say, because you're already with this person and they're showing me it's, very, it's going very nicely. Mm. You don't have a question about that person or her quality. She's high quality, beautiful, interesting, a little bit on the young side, um, it, internally. She's got, she's got mm -hmm. some um, childlike characteristics. Yes. So be careful yes. of that and say, how old are you? Act like your age. You know, like you can bring, you can bring. <laughs> I mean that not kindly though, you know? Like she's 25, she's acting like she's 17. So it's like, how old are you? You're 25, act like you're 25, bring yeah. it up. So there's that. Um, how can I, could you say, how can I make this relationship work knowing that in the past my relationships haven't always turned out. 
How's that? Because then that involves the, you know, the divorce, mm. but without going, I'm so guilty, I'm so guilty. Mm. Okay. How can I? How can I make this relationship work knowing that from my previous relationship it, it didn't work? Right. They're, um, mostly they're asking for you um, to spend time with this person because one of the reasons that your previous relationships, I'm saying ships and you're saying ship, but I'm saying more than one, is because you didn't spend enough time with the wife and they complained about it and also even when you were there, you weren't really there. So if like you were home, but you were watching TV, then you weren't actually present. And it's time and then it's service when they are ill. That's the biggest problem. So when they're feeling sick, you actually have to turn into a doctor. So you can't outsource that to somebody else. So you have to spend a lot of time. Time is the language of love. And then, are you ill? I will bring you tea. I will make you soup. What do you need? Do you need a blanket? How about a hot water bottle? You know, like really go overboard on the illness part. Does it make you squeamish yes. or something? Or no. can you do it? No, you can really do it? Yes, okay. Did you have three children with your first wife? Um, she had one, I had one, we had one together, so it ended three. up... Yeah. Okay, but it wasn't three that they made together. Okay, yeah. but you, so together they were, all three together there were three. Yes. Do you realize that you are financially responsible for even the one that she brought yes. in? Okay, yes. so all yes. three are that, count yeah. technically as yours, yes. according to your guides. I mean, that's kind of expensive. Yes. So, do you have a new child yet with this new? No. Okay, can you wait? I mean, I'm not saying wait to sleep with her, but wait to have a child. It's not, it's not, it's really not recommended financially, you know, yes, that you, yeah. like, those kids are expensive. Yeah, yeah. And so, it, it might not be advised for you to have another kid. That's part of the deal. Um, okay, so tell me, how can you be, uh, how can this relationship work? Tell me. Um, need to be more. On the relationship more what more like a doctor also if she's ill be there for her and everything and more mm. you're getting help from the audience hey <laughs> no stop, stop helping him okay be there That's yeah not I'm only saying, there yeah. in the house you just said be when more I'm there, in when the I'm relationship there, spend be more time more. with him time yes, yes yeah. you got it. so actually hours yeah, of time yes. Yeah. And then presence of time. Presence, yes. Okay. Okay, thanks. You got it. <laughs> We're there. We got it. Okay. You're going to come up for another round? I'm surveying to find out if anybody else is getting a question. No? If not, this is our last one. Anyone? What? You only get one question. Are you we going for a second question? <laughs> did you need a follow-up? <laughs> did, did she not get her answer? Did you get your answer? Oh, if you got your answer, then that's what I can do. Okay. What? Why are you crying? What? <laughs> it's just a follow-up. Let me take my question. I'm not hearing one. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. So d you heard the woodworking one, right? Yes. Yes, and that, that was supposed to influence yours. Okay. Let's hear it. So should I leave my job and pursue my supply chain in logistics? Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> that is I such know. a good question. <laughs> High five on the question. And she's in thank supply you. chain logistics. We were having a supply chain issue <laughs> around the question. <laughs> um, yes, and how can I do well with supply chain logistics? Ask that. How can I do well in supply chain and logistics? By going um, up into Africa and looking at the new ways that the train is crossing that bridge into Zambia. What is that place called? Kuzungula. Kazangula. Kazangula Kazangula Post. Yes! Is that where you're going? Not really, but I know about it. What about getting posted there? Terrible, huh? But what about That's if you went there? What if you what if you found out which companies are based around there or which companies are working through that stretch? That's really amazing for you. Um, for many reasons. Actually That's interesting. I was talking about it with my colleague the other day because there's most of bluff case companies there. There's not a lot of professionals, so they're kind of always looking for opportunities. But I never really thought of I like the way you're thinking. So, you know, I'm just your amplifier, I'm just your translator. Those messages are already inside of you and you're already downloading them. And then I say them, that's why I'm only about 85% accurate. You know, that's why I'm going like, 
Are you, could you, but would you please? She's Okay, trusting. what if you hitched a ride and went up there and looked around? I don't oh, really I mean standing on the road, but I mean... Hey, Yeah, but what, what if you went up there? What if you gave it a try? It would be interesting because Lusaka is huge, so it's got a lot of uh, borders that countries connected to them, so it looks... Sounds interesting. Can you make this sooner rather than later? Can you set a goal to get there by the end of the year? Not permanently, but just to go Do look around. Try to get search. one interview. Try to get one interview there, and then when you go, then you hop and hop and hop. Okay, I'll great. Okay, Thank yes, you. you can. Okay, Thank let's you. do it. Yes, I do remember your follow-up question. Come on up. Yes, I got it. It's like what? Oh, yes, I do remember. Do you know? Do you know that every time I stop working with a client, then they fall out of my head? Like I don't carry it around with me. Okay, you got to it, right? You got to it. You got to the point. Yes. Okay. What is it now? Okay, um, I'll continue with the relationship. Should we have a baby? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is that it? Yes, that was the follow-up. Okay, go ahead. That's great. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought. Okay, thank you. I'm going back to America now, and uh, I hope to come back to South Africa soon and work with you face-to-face. -face. But if you wish, you could have a Zoom conversation with me. I work via Zoom, as you know, people have worked with me via Zoom before, or telephone call, whatever. But my website is shannonwalbrand.com. So I'd like to pray to close the session, and thank you so much for coming through. Dear God, you have blessed us in so many ways. Even though we're confused, and even though we don't know exactly what to do next, you are at least pointing us and guiding us to go forward. Thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for uplifting us out of trouble. Thank you for bringing us here to this moment where we are alive, where we have another chance. Help us turn towards each other instead of away from each other to ask for help, to be vulnerable and authentic. Help us shine our lights so that we can show each other the way. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.